I just have to laugh when I go looking for auto parts. It's always like a quest, like Dungeons and Dragons or Warcraft. Good morning from El Cajon in California. I'm not sure if that's actually how it's pronounced, but anyway, today is a busy day. Lots and lots of errands. I'm gonna start out with uh, Starbucks coffee. Okay, Starbucks is done. On to location number two. I have to go to Home Depot and get a plastic storage crate for a project that I'm working on. Some fun surprise stuff. Another little tiny step for the step van and moving forward. Step for the step van. That sounds uh, a little redundant, doesn't it? Anyway, heading over to Home Depot. Down at Home Depot, I have a storage crate here. Head to the next location. And I've arrived at location number three. This is the Cummins dealership over here. I have a Cummins 5.9 inside of my step van. Last night, I broke off the little peg for screwing down part of the connectors for the oil sensor. So I've got to go try to find a new oil sensor in here so that I can get that repaired. I'm at least happy that the step van is still running even though the oil sensor is a little bit screwed up. I just have to laugh when I go looking for auto parts. It's always like a quest, like Dungeons and Dragons or Warcraft. It's, it's just you got to go to the next place because here at the Cummins dealership, they're sending me over to Napa, which is where I was going anyway to return the other uh, oil pressure sensor that I bought that's the wrong part. But he says to talk to Will at Napa and show him the photo and apparently he's the guy. So that's where I'm headed next. Life is interesting and full of twists. The Napa store here will not take this part from the other Napa store. I bought this up in Forest Grove at my sister's in Oregon and I'm in California now and they say there's no exchanges between the two that I've got to go back to Oregon to return this and he looked through all his part lists and stuff. He can't find it. He says, go back to the Cummins dealership. So they're sending me in circles around each other, telling me, you know, point finger pointing. He did it, he did it kind of thing. So um, I think I'm going to try tomorrow to go to a Freightliner store. You know, I, I don't know what else to do. Um, he was telling me try to order it online. But, you know, if Cummins doesn't have it, Napa doesn't have it, Freightliner, Maybe. It might be an option. Um, if not, then who knows? Um, oil pressure sensor. Freightliner 1996 MT45 Grumman Olsen. If you have a clue where to get it for Cummins 5.9 6BT, let me know. I'm going to head out to the next place and that is the battery store. So big news, my four batteries have arrived. Alright, I'm at the battery place. Got to get uh, this thing set up. Uh, I'm buying a Trojan T105-RE. These are six volt lead acid batteries specifically made for solar. So I'm going to be putting them inside of this plastic box here and eventually venting it to the outside. That'll be happening here in the next few days. But for now, I'm just setting them in the box and sealing them up. Because I'm not using the batteries right now, I think that'll be okay for storage. And I've got tons of ventilation in here, air leaks everywhere in the step van. I can even crack the ceiling fans if you are concerned the, about ventilation. It's not a big deal. The batteries won't quite fit in the box. They're just slightly too wide. Darn it. The box measurements must be at the top of the box instead of the bottom of the box. Why do they do that? Got to load them from the cart down there. Put them in the box over there. 67 pounds each. Buying batteries is a little bit like um, religion or politics. Everyone has extremely strong opinions on the subject of, as far as which brand to buy as well as which of the three main categories to get. Whether you get the old school, the liquid lead acid, uh, or to get the AGM and get those in the sealed variety or the new lithium. Um, so I just want to explain my logic behind the choice that I went with. Ultimately I want the lithium but it's just out of my budget right now and I think they're a bit overpriced even though 
per use and charge and lifespan it's the better deal uh, in the long run but it's just out of my budget right now so my plan is to use these batteries for five to seven years for their lifespan hopefully cross my fingers I get that out of it and then the price will drop on the lithium and then I'll switch and upgrade to the lithium down the road after I'm able to recover a little bit from my van build out and save up money and get the lithium so that's the ultimate plan so that left me with the two choices of what to get in the interim until uh, I get into the lithium. That left me with the AGM or the lead acid batteries. So I was trying to choose between the two and I just looked at the math and it seemed like an absolute no-brainer. I know everyone out there or many of you have purchased the AGM batteries uh, really for the maintenance aspect and being able to put them inside easily. But when I looked at it, it just came down to cost factor. The AGMs are almost twice the price of the uh, lead acid and the lead acid get 10 to 15 percent longer lifespan so half the price longer lifespan i'll figure out how to vent them so that's really the deciding factor for me i'm going to go with the two-part plan for the lead acid batteries first i'm going to put them in a plastic box inside of the step van they'll be in here probably for three or four months until i get the solution set up that i really want which is an undercarriage battery box that will go outside the step van and then I'll route the wires up through the floor of the step van to the inside but right now really haven't figured out how to fabricate that box and get the sliders and access to the um, little caps so that I can fill the um, reservoirs with the water that they need for the for maintaining the batteries so once I figure out how to fabricate that and meet with a fabricator then I'll be getting those boxes built, move the batteries to the outside, and that'll free up space inside and make it a lot easier all the way around logistically. Until then, seal plastic box with a little vent. And that's what I'm sort of getting set up for right now. Hopefully in the next week or so, I'll have these batteries running inside and be able to charge them off the alternator. And here in the next few weeks, charging off of solar. So that's the plan right now. Hope you understand my decision. And please don't judge me because, again, it's a little bit like uh, politics or religion. We all make our own personal choices. I tried to analyze all the options out there, and that's what I went with. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.